Good morning. Today what we're going to be doing is adding two additional six volt batteries to our current 12 volt system that we have in place. Uh, what's kept me from upgrading these batteries or the system has been this battery tray right here. After much search on, on YouTube and, and the internet, I wasn't able to find anything that looked good. So I actually got this from the local dealer where I purchased three RVs from. Um, and they said this comes from the manufacturer's outdoor RV. And uh, we will see if we can uh, to make this work. Now, there hasn't been really a big problem with our, our battery storage, but we did go camping in, in a kind of a partial sun area where these 500, uh, 500 watt solar systems from Zamp, what, we're able to keep a charge, but they had a, you know, we did run out of battery juice uh, about uh, halfway through the middle of the night. And so what we're gonna do is just double our capacity and uh, see if we could dry, uh, dry camp in a kind of a canopy forested environment and uh, have enough juice to run this outdoor RV. And in this, this particular- Let me do one more close up before I disconnect these batteries. So, you know, the funny thing is I, I've never had a 12 volt system. And when I had a battery go, go bad on me a couple years ago, this one's actually, uh, I believe a 2018. So you can see the date on that one, 2019. So I'm in the parking lot at Costco trying to change this thing out. I didn't even pay attention. You know, I'm ripping out the cords, going inside with the battery, come back out, and I'm trying to figure this out. It's like, okay, that doesn't make sense, right? Negative to positive. Uh, but, you know, this is how the, the 12 volt systems work. So, just want to take a look. Obviously, I see some corrosion right there. Just want to make sure I get all the right. Remember where every wire goes. I'm also going to have to add additional wires. So, I'll figure out the gauge of. Uh, gauge of this so when I go down to Wilco or Home Depot I'll know what um, size and uh, to get yeah it wouldn't be the first time I put everything together and then had to back out and uh, yep yeah, I had to grind those those two tabs off in the back sorry about the focus but that uh, Y is because I wasn't able to get the counterbalance uh, bracket back into place um, which I don't think I could actually move them further back or forward. So I went ahead and just kind of took everything off, ground those things down, shoot it with some uh, primer and, and paint, and then uh, put everything back together. Hey, good morning. It's a break of the weather, and it's been a few days since I uh, looked at this project. I went uh, to the, all the hardware stores, feed stores, automotive stores over the weekend, and kind of funny, they didn't have two gauge wire, welding wire. I mean, I'm sure I could find it somewhere. Um, but what I'm gonna do today, I actually ordered some, uh, some wire, some brass fittings, shrink wrap from Amazon. It came in last night, and so I'm going to finish this project. I'm also gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna uh, strap this thing in, whether I'm gonna tech screw it in, or um, get some sort of battery straps. So today I'm gonna just uh, do the measurements, hook these wires up, and then uh, see if everything works. So just a peek at what I ordered off Amazon. So I ordered, I think this is about 15 feet of uh, black and red copper two gauge wire. Um, some people use this for hooking up, I guess, welding machines, um, but that's a, uh, it's a common use. But, you know, you could order a lot of these that are pre-cut, like a 12 inches, two feet, one feet, whatever, what have you. But it looked like they had like a 10 fit fitting on it. And I think that might be fine, but I kind of like copper. So I ordered this uh, in individual components and I also picked up this battery, um, battery puller, which I think is kind of useful. And then, uh, <laughs> This cute little water thing, so I'm sure a lot of people are gonna make fun of that. So uh, I'm also going to try to make this work with a swag tool. So I use this on a lot of uh, fencing, and they had a specific tool for these lugs. So I have no idea if this thing will work. Um, I'm hoping it does. I think it will. Uh, if not, then I'll probably have to buy the specific tool. So I'm gonna use this to cut uh, cut the wire. And uh, next video you'll see is this trying to get this thing to work. Okay, wrapping up on this uh, battery storage project, I uh, went ahead and secured this box down to this plate. I did it in four different locations. I also uh, added two screws to that original angle iron below. And then I drilled some uh, some holes. Um, I don't know if that's best practice or not, but 
you know, I thought, hey, if there's a mess in there, it's going to, I don't want it to destroy the other batteries. Um, so I got uh, about six small little peepholes for any sort of drainage. Went ahead and used the shrink wrap to identify the positive negative. It doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of showing that, uh, you know, just in case I forget that uh, it's normal to tie the negative and the positive when you have this sort of 12 volt configuration. Just a, a gentle reminder. And I think what I'm going to do is also just, uh, the way I'm going to attach this lid right now at least is just going to use some sort of uh, uh, screws that I use on all my metal buildings. Um, I'd like to have some better way to secure that lid, but for right now I think that's uh, that's what I'm going to do. So eager to see the, the voltage, eager to see the battery performance when we're dry camping and uh, overall I'm really excited. Next project is going to be uh, a 3000 watt inverter. Got to figure out where I'm going to stick that. I've looked on some forums. I'm, I'm not really necessarily happy with uh, with what I'm seeing, but uh, we'll see. So, um, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for going through this journey, and uh, let me know if you got any questions.